Hello there guys, welcome back to the Chelsea Man Football. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Subscribe if you are new to the Chelsea Man Football hit notification bell so we can continue talking because we cannot be silent. We cannot be silent this time, my friend. It's time to talk. If we do that, things will change. Things will change. We have to start protesting now. Things are getting worse. They are not sacking the manager. We have talked about Porter how many times we have talked about. Thousand times. We say the same thing all the time. And this owner, they don't listen. They don't listen to everybody's advice. They don't see what the problem is. They see this guy as Pep Guardiola. They are comparing Graham Porter to crop at Liverpool and Salot Real Madrid. Are you crazy? Do you know those guys how much they have done? How many trophies they have won? Don't compare him with them. He's not like them. That is an insult to them. If I was them, I would feel insulted. This football club, Chelsea, has become like a playground to any team. Any team we face now, we're gonna get beaten. Yesterday, I did a video, I had no words. I was lost in the space somewhere in those planets, thousand, thousand of planets. I didn't see Earth until today I found my world, Earth. Here I am. I didn't have any words, but now I have words to talk about. Things need to change. We cannot be stubborn like this. The owner, they cannot be stubborn. This is the nature, this is the structure of this club. If the manager is not doing well, how many chances he has been given? How many chances? And you people out there, Porter people, they think, oh, now let's just stick with this manager. Things will change. That things will change? Are you killing me? If you are saying, if you are a Porter supporter, are you sure? Are you right, mate? Things will change. Things won't change under this manager. Chelsea Football Club is not Arsenal. Arsenal, they went through years and years of suffering. I don't want my team to go through years of suffering like that without a trophy. This is not how this club functions. This club is more than that. This club cannot die like this. Now, I'm starting thinking maybe the people who bought this club, they are not right. They are not right people. Make me think that way. This, we have talked about Porter a thousand times, same things all the time. Now it's time to talk about the owner. This is their responsibility. This is their responsibility to take action. Yesterday, I was waiting for a news to hear that this guy is gone. This guy is still at his job. This morning I wake up, I find him not gone. And everybody else, they were expecting that. Some people, they were expecting right away when we lost to Spurs, get out, right away. He should have done that. Go into the dressing room, call him. Hey, mate, come, I'm going to talk to you. Okay, uh, we have decided to let you go. This and this and this. See you later. Don't come back. Don't even go in the bus with the team. You should have done that yesterday. Now, still the message all the time. So let's read this and we'll continue talking because I am not going to shut up. I am going to put a thought and I'm going to talk until this guy is gone. And everybody else is doing the same thing. Start protesting, things will change if you start doing that. You know, it's not fun anymore. It's not right. He should have got sacked at Southampton when we lost to Southampton. He should have gone right there. He's not changing anything. Nothing is changing. He keeps doing the same thing. I'm going to come to that and how he keeps selecting his players. So let's go straight into this. Chelsea owners continue to back Grand Porter, but there is now a growing feeling that the next two games will be make or break. For him, it is not just the owner faith that is being tested either. So what is that growing feeling? It doesn't make anything. That growing feeling should have started long time ago, long time ago. So 
do not deceive guys when you hear that there is a growing feeling that the this next two games is gonna be warning for him if we lose those two games and they are saying it's okay it's just uh it's just you know, it's a feeling so uh so these two games we're just war gonna warn him what are we doing sack him now sack him now i can tell you guys if we sack him now the Champions League, we are playing against Dortmund, the return at Stanford Bridge. If we got the new manager, I can tell you we'll go in the semi-final. We'll go in the semi-final. We got lots of good players in this Chelsea team. Lots! They need the right man. They need somebody who had five cents. They need somebody who has tactically good Look at what Ten Hag is doing at Manchester United. Manchester United won the Carab Cup yesterday. They won their first trophy under a new manager. That is progression. When you're, when you're talking about the process, that Manchester United team and the new manager, that is exactly the process you are talking about. How many years has been at Manchester United? Not even two years. Not even three, four uh, hundred years. You can see how the guy is trying to do with the team. If, if you watch the Manchester United games, if Manchester United scored, Helic Ten Hag, he goes there to a player, start giving him instruction what to do next, you know? Serious on the job. Serious on the job. This guy we have, Porter guy, doesn't do anything at the touchline, nothing at all. Okay, I understand that this time now, maybe that's his nature, right? That's his nature. That's who he is. As I said, it seems that's a nice guy. In the manager career, he's not a good manager. In life, nice guy. Nice guy, as I say. But, man, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? What? What is this? Keep backing the guy who doesn't produce nothing. Keep playing the same players over time. Yesterday, I didn't talk about this because yesterday, as I said, guys, I, I was lost in spaces. I didn't know where to go. I was just shocked because I said, I get a Spurs. It's a London derby. Maybe we'll get a result. We'll get a result. London derby, I think uh, these guys, they're going to be up for it. They're going to be up for it because they know we cannot afford to lose to Spurs. No, they didn't do that. It's the same thing, same lineup, and I was I looked at that, that lineup yesterday. I was disgusted. Disgusted. Where was Modric? How many uh how much do we bought Modric? So much money. 100, right? 105, something like that. You prezish, you leave Modric on the bench. <sighs> that was mind blowing. And then on the back. You put on the bench, Bed Shelley, you put him on the bench, the most consistent defender next to Thiago Silva, the most influential defender, and you put Koulibaly, and we know Koulibaly is not that good in the Premier League. The Premier is struggle very much, and you put him there. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What was that from this guy, Mr. Porter? What was that? And then the owner keep backing him, keep backing him. And he keep playing Kai Havert on top. It doesn't see that it's not creaking. Okay, guys, guys, please. If you have, you have five cents in your head and you, you keep doing the same, same thing, I, I think the person who have five cents, they, they will come to realize only two games. It won't take them eight, five, uh, 20 games to realize Kai Havert is not that good. I have to change something because this can get me suck. This can get me suck. Now, if you hear they are saying there is a growing feeling among what? Among the owners? What is that? Don't get deceived about the growing feelings. They just want to let the fans feel, oh, yeah, yeah, there is a growing feeling. Maybe Porter is going to get sacked. He won't get sacked, my friend. We're going to prove Dortmund and Reeds this coming Premier League game 
is not gonna get sacked if you lose. They're gonna still they say the same thing. They compare him with Pep Guardiola. They compare him with Kroppa Liverpool. They compare him with Ancelot. These guys are insane. This is not soccer. This is Premier League. This is football, you know? This is not baseball. Yes, they own a baseball team in the US. This is something different. You gotta work different in the Premier League. Take some advice before you take, you buy a club like Chelsea Football Club. This is not Brighton. This is not just like Southampton or any other club, small clubs. No, we do things different here. The tradition of this club, it's sucking the managers if they're not doing well. We have been succeed with that for so many years. How many trophies we have won just doing that? So many trophies we have won. This is the traditional of the Chelsea Football Club. It may not be the traditional for other clubs. Other clubs can have one manager and do well, we have seen, but Chelsea Football Club, no, 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 no. The foundation has been made long time ago. So this is how we get succeed. This is how we win trophies. So if you broke, that link if you broke that promise then you're gonna go just like this if you block it so the foundation as i said is there so they have to follow that path they have to follow otherwise we are going to relegation we are talking about relegation relegation we're going down and they don't see this they don't see this we're gonna lose three games again they are gonna steal back Graham Porter, like he's the nicest coach, he's a, he's a Pep Guardiola or, or uh, Klopp at Liverpool or Ancelot. They see him that. These guys are insane, are insane. I'm not blaming Porter now, I'm blaming the owner. They are insanity. This is insanity. It's, they're just hating the fans. The fans, they're the ones who pay tickets to go watch the games. If I was one of the fans going to the stadium i would not even go to the stadium wasting my money paying a lot of money paying for a ticket and come with my head green my head red i'm upset no 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 we want to see this club win we want to see chelsea football club goes up again i don't love coming here saying oh man i feel like we're gonna lose oh man this is gonna be a tough game no i don't this is so much to take right now. I don't like to feel that way. I love to come here, say, okay, this and this and this, we're gonna do it. Okay, we are playing at uh, Manchester City next Sunday. Okay, I think Chelsea is gonna win 2-1. I want that to come back. That, that's what I want. I was waiting this morning to hear the news Grand Porter is gone. Now it's not gone. What are we gonna do? Start protesting. That's all I'm going to say. They are stubborn. Tobori and Chelsea, other stuff, they are very stubborn. Not sucking Grand Porter. So let's see what Frobisham Romano said. And I agree what he said. Let's go straight into it. Porter, Arsenal were two years in Mike Ren. And he is close to getting the sack. People wanting him out. Disaster. And of course, now things have changed. So... Frobisher Manu is talking about Arsenal. Arsenal struggled for two years and they were, they were with Mike Wateta and people, they wanted Mike Wateta to go because it was so bad. I don't want to wait that two years. Guys, as I said, Chelsea tradition is not that. Chelsea tradition, the success and all these things comes with different managers, comes with the sack. If the manager is not doing well, get him out. Get him out. When Arsenal had Michael Arteta for two years, they were struggling. They were not in the 10th place. They were not in the 15th place. They were not talking about relegation. Arsenal, they were 7-6. Seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. Sometimes they come to 4th. That's where they were. They were not even dropping. They were playing Europa League. Look at us. <clears throat> Look at us. Are we going to believe in Porter for a long time? If Aston Villa win the next game, we dropped to 13 or 15. And we are 31, 31 together with Aston Villa down there. It is insanity. It's insanity. Now, when you continue down there, crop at Liverpool, they haven't got the result. 
all of sudden people want him out. It's just the nature of football. From Bishop Romano is spot on. It's the nature of football. This is what football is now. This is what is now. If the results are not showing, you have to go get other one or something. That's what it is. Look, Klopp as li at Liverpool. How many years Klopp at, at Liverpool has won trophies, right? Has won the Champions League, Premier League, and the results suddenly they are not showing. And people want him out. That's what it is. That's what it is. It doesn't matter how good you are. If the result stops showing, get out. That's what it is. Get new stuff so the results start showing. That's what I see. Guys, let me know what do you think in the comment because this is disgraceful. This is it's insanity what the Chelsea owner are doing right now. They are punishing the fans. They are punishing us to stick with this manager. We, it's just not showing. It's not... It, it's just not working. He tried and everything he can. It's just not working. He has tried. Guys, I don't know what to say. I don't know any... If you have some words, just put them on top in the comment. <laughs> now, let me know what you feel, guys. It's just insanity. As I said, I was expecting the, the good news that this guy is gone this morning. He's still here. He's still here. And everybody else, if you go on YouTube, they were expecting Porter to go this morning. No, it's not. It's not. He's still here, laughing at us, seems punishing us every game, and he thinks it's fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. I'll see you soon. Subscribe to the Chelsea Man Football notification bell so we can continue talking. I will not be quiet. I'll continue talking until things change. Protesting need to continue. Let's do that, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are and God bless.